In January 1976, Marvel Preview, Issue 4, featured Star-Lord for the first time. Meredith Quill, took in and cared for, Peter Quill's father, Jason of Spartax, future emperor of the Spartoi Empire, after he crash-landed on Earth. Jason left two things behind when he set out for the stars, his high-tech gun, and a pregnant Meredith. The Dune warriors came to slay Peter and his mother when he was 10 years old. Meredith died, but Peter escaped in secret. As an adult, he joined NASA in order to travel to space, but he ended up in a cosmic jail following a struggle with the Fallen One, a former Galactus Herald. Peter's half-Spartax ancestry endows him with superior human durability, endurance, intellect, speed, and strength. He also has three times the average life expectancy. During the annihilation, Nova escaped from jail, and assisted in breaking Star-Lord out, and helped to defeat both Annihilus and the Phalanx. Peter formed the Guardians of the Galaxy, because he believed the universe needed to be protected. The Guardians dismissed him, after the others realized he'd persuaded Mantis, to mentally persuade them into joining his team. Peter later joined Rocket Raccoon's new crew, and traveled through time to try to preserve the future. He was later crowned King of Spartax, and his fiancée, Kitty Pride, took his position as the new Star-Lord in the Guardians of the Galaxy. Peter Quill was eventually deposed, and rejoined the Guardians. They assisted Captain Marvel during Civil War II, but when the gang discovered Peter was withholding secrets from them, they temporarily split up. They reunited to assist Gamora in finding the Soul Gem, however, Gamora momentarily murdered Peter, to prevent him from interfering, and knowing that Doctor Strange could restore him, using the Time Gem.